A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments, we have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in turn be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Probably one of the easiest things that we as human beings do is, is to judge. It's really easy to judge people, to judge situations, to judge all kinds of different things. I mean, I know I do it, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who does that. I hope I'm not. But the reality is, is I mean, ultimately, we are not to be the one to judge. Sure, you know, we can't help but have our opinions on things. I mean, that's, that's pretty normal. But the reality is, is that God is the ultimate judge, not us. Because the rea also, you know, there's that old saying, you know, if you're pointing your finger at someone, you've got four fingers pointing back at you. And so I think that we always have to keep that in mind when we do start judging people. Because a lot of times that we have all found, I know I've found, we don't know the whole story. I mean, we may judge somebody's actions, and certainly some things are intrinsically wrong. Like if someone kills someone, well, yeah, I mean, that, you know, that's wrong. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts on that deal. But there's a lot of things where maybe we judge people, but we don't know the whole story. We don't know the backstory. We don't know the whole situation. 
And sometimes we judge people and we, we envy them and we think, man, I sure would like to be that person. But there again, we don't know what's going on inside of their hearts. And so, yes, the Lord is calling us not to judge. It's not, it's not easy to stop doing that and we probably never will completely stop. But we have to keep trying to remember that ultimately he is the judge and he is judging us as well. Let us pray. Let us pray for Pope Francis, Archbishop Coakley, and all of those who lead the church, that they may be filled with grace and strength and humility. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for greater unity within our nation, our church, our families, our communities, that we may learn to work together for the good of all people. We pray to the Lord. For the end of this pandemic and all the damage that it continues to cause, we pray to the Lord for all of those who are sick, that they may know and feel the healing power of God. We pray to the Lord and for those who have died. We remember especially Mark Ruffin and Doug Parmalee. For them and all the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord and for those prayers we hold within the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God, we ask you to hear these prayers and those that we hold within our hearts. Continue to show us your mercy and your love, and we ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Accept in your goodness these our prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so, we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Remember especially Jason, Jason Frazier and Father John Michaliska. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Be merciful as your Father is merciful, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing and make us heirs to the joy of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. For the end of this pandemic and all the damage that it is causing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Blessed Stanley Rother, pray for us. <laughs>